Starfield is a game that came out a little while ago, and it got very, very mixed reception. It received a lot of criticism. Now, criticism is very important for games because without criticism, the developers don't know what they did wrong and what they can improve on on their next game. But the individual that we're going to be taking a look at today just cannot cope with the fact that people are criticizing his favorite game, Starfield. Starfield haters, listen you lose. I'm not even sure what he means by this. Like, what does that mean? You lose if you hate the game. All right. Starfield is a massive success. Millions of players are playing this game. Dude, I really hate to be the guy to piss on your parade, but uh, Steam charts disagree. As of right now, there are 3,928 players online playing Starfield. Now, obviously, that is only the PC, and you have to take Xbox into account, but Xbox doesn't show their player numbers. Also, a side note, can we please start putting player numbers on console as well so we know if a game is dead or not? Like, I hate having to load up a multiplayer game just to find out that the server's fucking abandoned. ...across the world and having the time of their life, and you just need to move on. Stop crying. Go home. It's ironic that you say that because that exact same argument could be used against you. Stop crying over the negative reviews and just move on. Enjoy the game, man. Like, the people criticizing the game is not going to stop you from enjoying it. And if you think I'm just a fanboy blowing smoke, well, as you hit the dislike button and type your nasty and ignorant comment. I mean, can you really blame people for thinking you're a fanboy when you have like a Starfield hat, a Starfield shirt, a Starfield thing on your wrist, a Starfield box in the background? Like, if I were to come on camera and just, like, blindly defend Nintendo, and I had a Mario hat on, a Zelda shirt, oh, this reminds me of somebody, for fuck's sakes. I am not playing my gaming PC, uh, because it simply isn't as good as my Nintendo console. Let me throw some numbers at you that prove just how wrong you are. I mean, numbers don't really prove anything when it comes to the quality of a game. Call of Duty sells really well every year and always has tons of players, but it's almost always buggy and broken on launch. Welcome to Starfield Signal, your place for everything Starfield. Now, listen, if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that I try to stay positive and I try to elevate the discourse around Starfield and not get dragged into stupid arguments on the internet. Damn, I kind of feel like a dick. This guy was trying to be positive and I came and like pissed all over his parade. But the level of hate that Starfield has been getting is just wild. It's kind of just asinine. Okay, I will agree to an extent. There were a lot of stupid criticisms of Starfield, like grown men saying that the game was a heaping pile of shit because they cannot land on a gas planet. Or the people that said it sucks because it's like every other Bethesda game, like yeah, no shit, it's by the Bethesda. But there's also a lot of valid reasons that people are hating on the game, such as the performance on PC. So please forgive me if this video seems a bit spiteful, but Every now and then it's okay to take a victory lap. Okay, but what exactly did you win? Like, what's the big victory here, dude? Like, you're not a developer of the game. You're not seeing any of these profits go into your bank account. First, let's check in with the haters. As we all knew this was coming, Starfield was review bombed hard on Metacritic last week. The user score sits at a 6.4 out of 10 with almost 6,000 user reviews. Why would you ever use Metacritic to see reviews for a game? Use Steam, dude. It actually shows you for each review how long the person has played the game for. Like, there's one review on Steam. Uh, the guy has like 500 hours and he clearly lists out the problems with the game. 3,442 were positive, 460 mixed, and 2,089 negative at the time of recording. And it's really sad that these haters can't even muster the energy to put a little creativity behind their negative comments. Hey, if you don't play the game, the least you can do is actually listen to an actual critic's thoughts and then just kind of morph all those into negative opinions. I like how you just brush off all these negative reviews as a bunch of hate without actually reading through all of them one by one. Like, I seen one as you were scrolling by it. The guy doesn't like it because of the graphics. But unfortunately, all the negative reviews are just an echo chamber of the same senseless and out of context phrases. <laughs> Okay, so apparently every single negative review is just an echo chamber. It couldn't be that people had genuine problems with the game and they want to see Bethesda go in and fix them. It couldn't be that when Bethesda makes their next game, these people want to see these issues addressed and fixed. If you don't complain about games and give your issues with them, you're never going to see improvements in the future. 
With that out of the way, let's look at the fact that Starfield has rocketed to number one in the UK sales charts. This tends to happen every time there's a big or popular game that comes out. Like if you guys remember Pal World, when that first came out, it rocketed straight to the top for a while. When Helldivers 2 came out, rocketed straight to the top for a while. Um, this happens whenever a big game is released. However, I will admit that it's impressive that the game was a top seller considering you need a fucking NASA PC to run the game well. I want to say parenthetically here that I totally called this in a video that I released about a couple of months ago. And so if you... Yeah, this game is not going to be larger than Grand Theft Auto 5. Grand Theft Auto 5 is the most profitable piece of media ever created. It made more money than any book, any movie, any game. It is a fucking giant. Also, this game is like over 10 years old and still gets like at peak 160,000 players online at a time in a day. You want to he, kind of see the math and how I worked it all out, go check out that video, I'll link it. Uh, but for now, if you're not a Starfield hater, if you could click or tap that like button to kind of help give me some love in the midst of all the hate that I'm sure this video is going to get. Plus one for the self-awareness, I guess. But how is everyone who just disagrees with you or doesn't like the game, how is that just hate? Like, I don't like Redfall. Does that make me a hater? No, the game... <laughs> okay, Redfall's really shit. That's probably a bad example. Um, I don't like the uh, last year's Call of Duty, MW22, that much. Does that mean I'm a hater? Now, this is all huge news, but it's also very interesting in the context of Fallout 4's launch. Again, I made a whole video about this, and I'll link that in the description and the pinned comment. But all you need to know is that Fallout 4 had a massive launch of 13.5 million units shipped in the first week. At that time, this was a record for brick and mortar retail stores, but it also included 1.2 million digital sales. But just like Starfield, uh, Fallout 4 also got very mixed reception. Personally, I enjoyed the game, but a lot of people didn't. So the point I want to make here is if Bethesda is saying that more people are playing Starfield than Fallout 4 just 48 hours into the game's respective launch windows, that is a clear indication that we could see some massive player numbers for Starfield after the first week. Yeah, it is impressive, like the amount of players that were online at the first like uh, weekend of the game launching. However, are those players going to stick around because, you know, they might just play the game, not like it, and move on. Um, when I showed Grand Theft Auto V, people are clearly sticking around for that game. Whereas with Starfield, people seem to have just moved on. And I get it's because it's a single player game. But, I mean, there's still tons of people playing Skyrim. There's tons of people still playing Fallout 4. In fact, it's about double the people playing Fallout 4 over Starfield, and about double the people playing Skyrim over Starfield. So clearly, for a lot of people, this game just didn't stick. And from here on out, he just goes to show a sponsor, so I'm not showing that. Um, you know, if you enjoy Starfield, that's great. I'm happy for you. Play the game, have fun. Um, but the thing is, it's weird to sit here and defend something when it's rightfully being criticized. Like, not everyone is just blindly hating on it. Like, people are giving legitimate reasons. Um, anyway, I'm out of here.